Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up the Foscam FI9828W. So this is the outdoor unit that's 1.3 megapixel, weatherproof, has 3S optical zoom, can pan, tilt, and it has the option of being wired or wireless. So with this unit in the box, it came with a CD. On a CD, it contains IP camera tools. So what this tool does, this application does, it is just it helps you find the IP address of the Foscam on your local network. If your computer does not have a CD drive, that's fine. Just go to the website, foscam.us, click on support. And here you can also download the tool too. Now the next thing is you should plug in the ethernet and also screw on the wireless adapter if you're using it for wireless and also plug in the power. So now I'm going to run IP camera tool. And when it kicks off, it scans my local network for all the Foscam units currently connected. And I'm demonstrating this on uh, MacBook Pro with Retina, and the browser I'll be using is Safari. So I'm just going to double click on the Foscam FI9820W, and first thing is on top here, it did not find a plugin for the HD unit. So I'm just going to click here and download the plugin to my computer. And my operating system is OSX. So I'm going to my downloads, scroll to plugins, just right click on it, go to open, and then hit open again. And I'm going to just go ahead and install this plugin. All right, close that, exit it. Now I'll need to quit Safari so completely. So now I'm going to click on this IP camera tools FI9820W again, and you can see that there is no link up here because now it's detected it. So the default username is admin. The default password is blank. So this was the very first time I tried to access camera. If I click login, it will ask me to create a new username and a new password. And you should do that. So I'm just gonna click login right now. For account security reasons, change your password. So I'm logged in. I'm just zoom or pan up the camera up a little bit. I set the camera up right now in my hallway. And let's go to settings. So first is security reasons. Let's change the user ID. So I'm going to user accounts. There's administrator. I'm going to go change password and just specify a password for here. Hit modify. Oop, log me out. So now I just need to log back in. And what I would recommend is always use a different user ID. So here, click on number two and just create a second user ID like user one for example. So I'm just give this one eh, administrative rights for now. Hit add. Okay. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is I want to be able to access this camera and on an IP address that's not dynamic. So if you look up here in the address bar, it's currently at 192.168.1.8. So if my router decides to give us a new IP address, this won't work won't work anymore. I'll need to use the IP camera tool. And I don't want to be reliant on that tool, the IP camera tool. And I'm going to go to network. Let's go to IP configuration. So it's, with this box checked, it's pulling the IP address from the router, which can always change. So I'm going to uncheck it so I can have manual control. Here I'm going to specify an IP address of my choosing. So I'm going to give it like 155. Subnet, subnet mask, I'll leave it alone. The gateway for everything else to here that's not IP address. If you're not sure what to enter, you can always just look up what your current computer is using. So on a Mac, I'm just going to open up Network, which is under System Preferences. And just click on Advanced right here. Go to TCP. So it's telling me my subnet mask is this. If I go over here, this is my DNS. So I'm just going to keep that information the same. So if you're on a Windows computer, you can do the same thing, just go open up a command prompt and type in IP config space dash all. I'm going to hit save. That's when you'll confirm, yes. So once it finishes rebooting, I'll need to go to this IP address, the 192.168.1.155. Okay, restart finished. It automatically loaded into the new IP address. I'm going to say yes, trust the plugin. I'm going to log in with, I'll leave it as admin, but this time I had to specify a password. Okay. 
Next is, let's go over here now for wireless. I want to add this camera to my wireless network. So let me first scan it. All right, it found my wireless. Let's put in a password, hit save, and that's it. Now that I have added wireless information to this camera, I can essentially unplug the Ethernet cable so that's not plugged into my router and just move it anywhere around my home that's within wireless range. The next thing I will change will be the pan to zoom. So it'll be the startup options. For here, I don't like it when it goes to home. I'd rather say disable startup. That way, if it loses power, it's not going to revert the camera back to the home location. I want it to be still pointing to where I last moved the camera to. So I'm gonna hit save. Let's go live video. So, well, here it is. The setup is essentially finished. Everything else is purely optional. Now, something to just keep in mind going forward is I would recommend signing up for the FOSCAM newsletter. That way, if they issue any firmware or security updates, you'll be notified of it. And just try to keep your, your camera up to date with the latest firmware. Well, thank you for watching this setup video of the FOSCAM fi 9820 w If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Walker Hamster. Bye.